So here we're going to learn about landforms of coastal erosion, particularly cliffs and wave cut platforms. And it's worth noting that the wave cut platform below the cliff can only form when the cliff is of a relatively hard geology, um, namely limestone or chalk or granite. So how is the wave cut platform formed? It happens during um, high tide when the waves have most energy and they start to erode the base of the cliff here to create what we call a wave cut notch. And that wave cut notch becomes deeper and deeper, creating above it something called an overhang. And the overhang can become so heavy that it topples over. So let's see how this operates in diagram form. At high tide, when the waves have most energy, they will start to erode the base of the cliff to create a wave cut notch, which gets wider and deeper into the cliff and leaving above it an area of rock called the overhang. And this will eventually collapse under its own weight um, to leave a new cliff line which is here, and so the cliff has retreated back. At the base of the new cliff, um, the high tide will operate and it will erode the base of the cliff to create a new wave cut notch, like so. And again, above it, it will create an overhang, which will also collapse. And this collapsing overhang will create a another new cliff line, which is here. Now the important thing is this, A, the cliff has retreated, but B, at the base of the cliff, which I will now highlight in green, you are left with this area of flattish rock, which was once cliff, and this is the wave cut platform, which you can only see at low tide. At high tide it will be completely covered up. Now it's important to note that the wave cut platform, although we understand the word platform as being some kind of flat area, a platform cut by the waves is certainly not flat and you can see from this photograph um, the jagged nature of the wave cut platform. It leaves areas of, of dips in the platform which can be filled by water at high tide and when high tide goes out it leaves water behind in these. Um, sometimes you may have been rock pooling and looking for crabs and so on and this is evident that the wave cut platform is nowhere near flat like a platform. It's very jagged. Um, there may be some biological weathering going on on the platform caused by um, kelp, the seaweed, um, maybe piddocks, um, very small shell-like creatures drilling into the wave cut platform. So they are continually being eroded away, not only by the waves, but other um, biological forces. Um, so here is one of the most beautiful wave cut platforms um, in the British Isles. This is the Seven Sisters in Sussex and the wave cut platform which we can see here um, is a very wide one actually um, and it's, it's formed from where the um, chalk cliffs have retreated back and it's amazing to think isn't it that the cliffs were once um, here but they have uh, retreated back that whole distance and there is actually a limit as to how far the a wave cut platform can form um, because obviously the, the waves come in they, they lose their energy as they pass over the existing rock beneath them.